My name is Thomas Foster and this is a multi-part tutorial for Max for Life. Max for Life makes it possible to create Max patches that you can use directly inside of Ableton Live. Today we're gonna build a harmonizer that is pretty cool. Look here. I feel good. 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 Feel good. Bye. If you give me 20 minutes of your time, I will guide you to build this harmonizer as a Max for Life audio effect that you can use in Ableton Live to pitch your audio. Have fun! First we open the browser, we go to Max for Life and then we go to Max Audio Effects. The first thing is the Max Audio Effect, that's the init effect where you can start to build your own audio effect. So let's place this on our audio track. Here it is. And at the moment it's doing nothing. I feel good. All right. But we change this now by clicking here this little edit button. Now we open this effect in Max. Let's make it a little bigger. Let's take the plug in and plug out and erase all the comments. So where it says plug in, audio is coming in and with this cable it's connected directly to the plug out, means the audio output of this effect. But now we erase these two cables. Um, first we select this one, say backspace, then this one and we click again backspace. The simplest thing that we can do is to change the volume. For this we type an N to make a new object. Then we make the multiply object. So you already know maybe the multiply object. You can uh, say I want to uh, multiply something with 5 for example. And if you now put in a 2, a 10 comes out. Or if you put in a 3, 15 comes out and you can change on the right input uh, the number of multiplications. So now it's a 2, so if I put in now a 2, it's 4 because 2 multiplied with 2 is 4 and so on and so on. This is the normal uh, multiply object for numbers. But you can add a tilde symbol like this. You get this by option N or Alt N. And now it's for audio. You can connect the left insert to this multiply tilde object. Tilde, that's the name of this little symbol here that we get by saying option N. That makes it an audio multiplier or a signal multiplier. Now we copy it by using the Alt key. Now we have a second one and again we go in here with the right cable and go out with the cable. All right. Now we need something like a fader. This time we say N to get a new object and life.dial. Now we have this dial here. Let's make a message box by using the letter M. And now we see what is coming out. And you see, it's a number starting at zero and going up to one. That's exactly what we need to change the volume from zero to one. Okay, we place this here where we can see it, means on top of this line, so we can see it here in the user interface. Let's check this out. We close it. Now we have to save it and we call it my first audio effect. Okay, let's check it. I feel good. I feel good. By the way, if you want to use the same audio that I'm using here, you can download it, it for free. Just go to mugent.com, M-U-G-E-N-T.com and simply search for I feel good. 
And immediately you can listen to it. I feel good. And download it for free. Check. Done. Yeah, you can download it for free, like all the stuff in Mutant. If you don't know Mutant, it's a great project and you can download beats for free, samples for free, uh, sound effects for free. It's amazing. And yes, you can use them for your production without any royalty problems. And I know this because I involved in developing this project. It works wonderful, but that was not the goal. We wanted to make a harmonizer and not a volume fader. So let's put this at the side. And now we need another object. We need the PFFT tilde object. Okay, and um, the PFFT object, let's take a look to this by alt clicking it or option clicking it. It's a spectral processing manager for patches. That means we can type in a name of a patcher that we want to load. So the name of the patcher that we want to load in this PFFT is Gadget. And now let's press the command key or the control key and double click it. So we see what is inside. And inside is a gizmo tilde object. And a gizmo tilde object is a frequency domain pitch shifter for P. FFT. That's maybe the point where you say, okay, it's too complicated for me. <laughs> Don't worry. The only thing that you have to know is the PFFT gadget is for pitching the vocals. So that's very easy. And now we have to put in two numbers. The first number is the FFT size. For this, we put in 1000. And the second one is the overlap factor. Let's make it eight. Okay, and now we want to go from the plugin. Um, I press now the option or Alt key and select the two cables that I can delete it. We want to have this PFFT uh, on the left side and we copy it to also use it on the right side. And now we go here into the second input. Okay, we need the live deal for sure. And we need a number to change a frequency ratio. So we have to put in a float. We get this by clicking on F. And we put this now to both inputs. Let's check this. We save it. And now we give this number to one. I feel good. And if you make it higher. I feel good. We're pitching this uh, signal up, or we can also go from one down to pitch it down. I feel good. So let's go again to edit. The next thing is we want to use this style to mix the dry signal and the original signal. What is already happening, um, if we put this volume here up, we already have the effect signal. Now, but it says 127 and live deal. So we want to change this. Uh, so we activate it and click here on the eye to open the inspector. Now let's go to recent and here we go to percent. And we go from zero to 100. That's also perfect. Now we want to change the name um, from live deal to dry slash wet to be on the safe side. We also change the short name to dry wet. Let's close the inspector. And now we have a dry wet in percentage. Perfect. But in addition, we want to have the dry signal. So what we're going to do is we copy these two multipliers and now we go directly from the plug-in to the inputs and again to the output. 
But do we connect now this here? No, then we always would mix it in the same percentage. We want to do it the opposite. So let's take a look again what is coming out here. This is zero and now we go up to one. We want exactly the opposite. So when this says one, we want to say it zero. And if we have zero, we want to have a one. So how do we do that? We type N and multiply with minus one. And now something is very important. You need a dot behind the one. Let's see what is happening without the dot. Without the dot, we are losing the numbers behind the first number because it's an init and not a float. But with the dot, we keep the float as a float. Means you see all the numbers between zero and one. Is this okay now? We go now from zero to minus one. No, that's not what we want. No, we type n and plus one dot. And now let's see what we have now. Now it goes from one to zero, but if you compare it, it's exactly the other direction. So that's what we need for our dry signal. So one more time to understand, we go from the plug-in to our harmonizer. On the left side, we make the volume of the harmonizer. On the right side, we make the volume of the dry signal that is coming out directly out of the plug-in. And with the dial, we change the volume of the left side and in the opposite on the right side. Let's check if this is working. We save it. We go here to one and a little bit up maybe. I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. Works wonderful. So the next thing we want to change is this number here because one dot four tells me nothing. I want to say let's go up one half note or two half notes. That's something that would more sense for me. So let's type N and use the trans ratio. To understand what the trans ratio is doing, we click the option key and then we click with the option key or the alt key on the trans ratio. Here you see what is happening. You can put in numbers like uh, two steps up or um, half step down and you change it to the transposition frequency ratio that we need. So that's what we do. We take another number like this. We go to the trans ratio and we go to this number box. Let's check this out. So first of all, we start with zero. Feel good. Nothing is changing and now we go up in half steps. I feel good. 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 Let's go to three. I feel good. I feel good. That's great. So let's go to edit again because at the moment it does not look nice. Let's change it a little bit. So we don't need this number box here. So we go directly from the ratio, uh, from the trans ratio to the PFFTs. To change this, we simply with the clicked Alt or Option key select the two cables. Now you have, see this green dot here? You can move it from here to here. And now we are directly connected. Maybe this number box is not perfect for live. So what we do is we type N live number box. Here we are. And we go in here. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this is working. Um, we can go up, what is good. 
maybe a little bit too much. 127 would not sound nice. And we cannot go down. So it's not really perfect. So let's go to edit mode and we select this number box. We open the info window. The range could be from, what do we say? Minus 24, what would be two octaves to 24. Let's check this. Okay, looks good. Let's close the inspector. The next thing we want to do is we want to take care that everything looks a little bit nicer. So let's take everything and move it under this line. As this line, uh, everything that is on top of this line is what the user sees. And we take care that we don't go too much to the right side, otherwise our plugin is so big. So what we do is we move this here, we move everything a little bit to the left. Let's move this here. Okay. We need this dry wet. Let's place it maybe somewhere here. We need this box here. We don't want to see the cables, so let's hold down the option key, select the cables and with command K or here with height on lock, you can activate this feature. And if we go now out of the edit mode, what we can do if we click with the command key somewhere in the background, we don't see the cables, What is great. Next thing what we do, we type the letter C to get a message box and we say pitch. Let's place it here. Maybe we place this here. Mm, or it looks better like this. And let's go down a little bit. Let's take another comment uh, com um, and say harmonizer. Oh, it's a little bit too small. Maybe we also make the font a little bigger um, by saying command E or clicking here on open inspector and On the layout, we go to 18. Ah, oh, think too big. Let's make it 14. Good. Let's close it. You see, the whole window is a little bit too big as we have our objects here. Yeah, we can change this. For sure, there's a nicer way to do this than I do it now, but for now, uh, I don't want to make it too complicated for you. So, hopla, be careful. <laughs> we do it like this. Let's take a look at if this is better now. Yeah. Uh, maybe we move this object a little bit to the left. Make this text field here a little bit smaller. Okay. And maybe we change the color by clicking shift command I, or you can open this window here with a few inspector window. Good. I want to make the locked patcher background. I want to make it dark, maybe not 100% black, but something like this. Let's take a look. Now we need to make the text a little bit lighter. So let's activate the two text fills and the text color should be um, something like this. Maybe this one could be blue, light blue, something like this. Uh huh. And this dry wet color we also change. So we go to all. And here it says text color. Let's go to a lighter text color. Yeah, nothing here is perfect, but it's okay for now. And now let's take a look. I feel good. 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 Oh, I still have one more thing. 
If you like producing music like me, then you probably know the problem of finding good drum and percussion sounds. Those who came with the music program do not sound right and on all internet sites where you would get the really good stuff, you pay a fortune. On all? No, not really. There's a web page in whose development I'm involved. Mugent.com Mugent is written with M-U-G-E-N-T and it comes from Musically Intelligent. Mugent. You can find drum beats that sounds exactly like what you hear in the charts or in the big clubs in Ibiza, Miami or Berlin. The web page reminds a little bit of Google. You can just use the text search, get immediately results you can listen to and download for free, or you can use the menus with which you can narrow down the search. On Mugent you can find drum sounds to every genre, music loops, so complete beats, percussion single sounds and loops, cool bass riffs, funky brass and synth riffs, guitars, and all sorts of sound effects from birds to cars, from the sound of the sea to helicopters. With me there is no more production where I didn't use the sounds from Mutant.com. Take a look, you will love it. My name is Thomas Foster, thanks for following, always stay creative, cheers!